What you find him? He's doing a terrible style for him. Good job. Good job. He was so he's so wild. He's he's, he's real hard. Maybe um I I say about <laughs> fourth round he stopped he wasn't um I was dodging a lot of punches. But um, I couldn't get him. I was giving him hair well. Like I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he's a little loose looking like. No, no, he's a chaos. Yeah. Was he your type of style so far? Oh, uh, yeah, you said that, yeah. So, you know, it's all experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All experience. Thank you. Good luck, you guys. Congratulations, Ali. Here you go, Coach. Scrappy dude. What's up, Sean? What's up, man? How'd you feel about Andrew tonight, man? He did good. He showed hard. He fought a real scrappy. He was it out. kind of wild, speedy guy, but he kept his composure. Won him around. Clean, you know, got it knocked down. Uh, probably still the deal. Um, got, the, got the clean W. That's what it's about. Being safe, uh, getting W's and farther in his career. We looking at a pound for pounder tonight, and Andrew Sabini. Yeah, you know, after some more grooming, you know, you know what I'm saying. Right. Looking more, you know what I'm saying. Uh, what's the? I want to say the right word, but uh, just, 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 you know, yeah, just all around look tweaks here and there. You gonna get them to where they need to be. Man, do you see him unifying all the belts at Cruiser one day, becoming undisputed champ? He got the attributes and the ability to do so. He just got to work hard, stay disciplined, and work on the new tweaks they have. You know, he got challenges out there like uh, Makabu and, you know, other guys, Enzo, you know, that I can see him fighting those guys and winning, you know. But I heard you giving some respect to his opponent, too, Keith Chappie. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, before the fight, you know, Keith Chappie, he's kind of disrespectful, but I guess he's the good of the fight. Right. So, you know, I had to get, you know, go to him, you know, because that's my brother, so I had to say some harsh things to him and get on, get on him a little bit, but after the fight, and I seen he was a true, true, true warrior, I said, hey man, you know, we got the W, but you, you did good, you, hey, we need that's a good test for us, you know, and. So it was all love after It was all love, you know, he's just boxing, man. You, before the fight, it's a lot of high energy, everybody intense, but you know, afterwards, you know, Let's go, let's go kick it. Let's go eat together. Let's go to the club, you know. We just saying? made some good money together. So hey, why make not? some good money. Hey, later on, we might bring him into camp for spawn. Right. I'm saying, might help him out for a, a, a slick guy. Right. I'm saying, keep Tabby a cool dude. Right. Thanks for your thoughts, man. Yeah. Jordy, what's up, man? Boxingvoice.com here with Andrew, the beast to beat after a spectacular performance to remain undefeated and now in the top 10 in the WBC and, and also regional champion right now. How'd you feel tonight, Andrew? Give yourself a grade, if you don't mind. Uh, I, I, think, um, I think I could do a lot better. I can't really give myself a grade. I had to look at over it. But, um, you know, I got the victory. That's all that matter. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just getting better. It's, it's, uh, he's a solid fighter, man. 17-0. No, he's not used to um, losing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, I performed. I got the victory, and that's all that matter. Uh, I'm surprised you said you could have done better because we saw a combination punching, speed, defense, power, stamina. I mean, what... what what, what could have went better? I could have let my hands go a lot more. Um, but, I, you know, he, he's a solid fighter. It was hard to get his, get his um, rhythm down, you know. Um, and he's also coming in kind of wild, and, um, you know, had, he had about me, so it kind of threw me off. You know, so but it just come with experience. I, I more experience I get, it, I'll be able to do good. You showed both tonight, uh, going after the guy, hitting him to the body really well, and also counter-punching him. Which one are you more comfortable with? Um, you know, it doesn't matter. I was, um, I, I, I'm just more comfortable with just staying relaxed and being, and being defensive. Now, you know, we, we, we talk about a lot of young guys around your age in boxing, Canelo, Errol Spence, uh, et cetera, but don't, don't we have to start talking about you like that as well as one of the top young guys coming up now? Uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'm working hard for it, and I'm going to keep it going. And also, uh, what, were you surprised at the, the amount of punches he was able to take? You knocked the sweat off his head four or five times, and he just kept coming. No, he's a solid opponent. He never, he not, he never lost. You know, he, he came to win. So, you know, um, that was going to be a tough fight. And, you know, it's just experience. Experience on his end, experience on my end. But, um, you know, it was a good fight.
How does it feel uh, after the fight? You guys had a little uh, scuffle at the weigh-in, some some tough blood, but is everything all good now? I feel good now. The fight's over with now. I can go to the next thing and train. We you know, a lot more focused. How, how far are you from a title fight? Because to be honest, it looks like you're kind of ready now. I'm, uh, I'm just going to soak up this victory. And, uh, I'm just going to take, take my time. and just going to take, gonna take, our, take our time. Okay? Before you go to heavyweight, though, you do want to clear out the division here at Cruiserweight. Is, is that correct? Andrew, great victory. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Thanks.